Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. And this session, we will be exploring about cancer research and few of the essential techniques in experiment which is required in cancer research. So if you are a beginner participant, especially a student or researcher who want to explore cancer research, then the session will be important and significant for you. As you might be knowing, I myself has 15 plus year experience in cancer research. And apart from that, I do have experience working on lung cancer and brain tumor from USA and Japan. So let's get started the session. A very significant technique and experiment which you require is cell culture, especially the animal cell culture. For these kind of experiment and research project, you need to culture cancerous cells in a controlled environment and depending on your experiment, sometimes you'll need to perform therapeutic, diagnostic, imaging, biomarker kind of experiments. The significance of cell culture is that it allows researchers and scientists to study cancer cell behavior and also to test potential treatments. During such kind of experimentation, you have to handle aseptic technique. You also need to maintain your cell lines. And depending on your experimentation, data analysis will be required. The another very common experiment is your PCR, that is polymerase chain reaction, which amplifies DNA segment for genetic and molecular analysis. I've already made few videos tutorial related to PCR. If you're new to this techniques and technology, you may watch that tutorial also. There are several applications and significance of PCR, but very particularly in cancer research, it helps you to identify genetic mutations and biomarker studies. For performing PCR, you require template DNA. Sometimes you also have to extract these DNA samples. Then you require to set your PCR, amplify your template with the chosen primers and do the required analysis. And for running PCR, you require skills in molecular biology technique primer designing and little bit foundation knowledge in the bioinformatics and also the PCR optimization and standardization. It is also good if you know how to run gel electrophoresis. The another quite common experimentation that is required in cancer research is western blotting which detects specific protein in a sample. So you can analyze protein expression and post translation modification which are involved in cancer. Usually, you have to extract the protein. You also need to do gel electrophoresis, sometimes SDS. And if you are performing Western rod, then you also know the transfer techniques. You need uh, right skills related to protein handling, electrophoresis, protein quantification, and immunoblotting techniques. The, another very significant techniques and technology is your flow cytometry, which is required to analyze and sorting of the cells based on their physical and chemical properties. It also identifies and isolates specific cell population, thus it is very crucial in the cancer research. As you know, cancer death and cancer division both are important while we are starting cancer research. Usually in flow cytometry, you need to do sample preparation, staining, flow cytometry analysis. If any one of you who are interested in learning hands-on training in flow cytometry, especially in Delhi NCR, can contact me. To perform flow cytometry, the skills which you require are cell training, instrument operation, and data analysis and interpretation. The next experimentation is immunohistochemistry, which can help you to visualize specific protein in tissue section. The significance of such experiments are it links the protein expression to tissue morphology. Usually, you require to perform tissue fixation, antigen retrieval, antibody straining. And the skills required to handle such kind of experiments are tissue handling, immunohistochemistry protocol optimization, image analysis. If any one of you are interested in learning these techniques and do hands-on training, can contact us. If you are handling in vivo based cancer research project, then you might all require to perform mouse genotype models which require implanting human cancer cell into the mice for in vivo studies. The significance of such experiments are that it helps to evaluate tumor growth and drug responses in the living system. Mostly the steps involved in such experiments are cell injection, monitoring the data collection etc. And the skills required are animal handling, ethical compliance and data analysis. The next experiment is CRISPR-Cas gene editing, which can alter gene expression in the cancer cell. The significance of such experiment is it, it helps in investigating the role of specific gene in cancer. 
and performing such experiment you should know how to design the guided rna you should also know molecular biology techniques like transfection gene knockdown validations and basic experimentation which is required related to molecular biology and cloning usually the skills required to perform crispr based experiments are molecular cloning cell transfection genetic analysis along with your bioinformatics knowledge the another significant technology is your rna sequencing which can profile gene expression at the rna level which can identify the dysregulatory or differential gene and pathways in the cancer cells the steps usually involves rna isolation library preparation sequencing and data analysis and if you want to explore such kind of technology then the skills required are bioinformatics especially the ngs foundation knowledge of programming library preparation and data interpretation we also run courses in ngs programming and rna sequencing data analysis so if you are interested in exploring and learning those techniques and technology can approach us the next important technique is mass spectrometry which analyzes protein and small molecule in the sample and it can also identify potential biomarker and drug target for cancer research usually the steps involves our sample preparation mass spectrometry analysis and data interpretation another experimentation which is quite common are tissue microarray here you need to construct slides with the multiple tissue sample for analysis this experimentation enables us for high throughput analysis of patient sample usually the steps involves are tissue selection tma construction and staining analysis and the skills required are tissue handling tma design and microscopy The next technology which is quite significant is is next generation sequencing which sequences DNA or RNA at a high throughput level it can helps in identifying genetic mutation fusion gene and variation analysis related to cancer and the general steps which are required are library preparation sequencing and bioinformatics based data analysis we have a special program related to ngs and programming related to biologists if someone want to learn ngs or do project related to that can contact us and the skills required for running ngs experiment are ngs library preparation bioinformatics and data interpretation the next area which is also important is your proteomics which help us in studying the complete set of protein in a cell or tissue does it help us in investigating the differential protein expression related to cancer it also identify protein changes which are specific to cancer and its progression usually the step which are involved in proteomics are protein extraction separation mass spectrometry analysis and the skill which are required to run proteomic experimentation are protein chemistry mass spectrometry and bioinformatics tools for data analysis as i mentioned that we have to deal with cell culture especially the cancer cell culture so many a time you need to do freezing and storing of biological sample for long term uses so you require cryopreservation and the significance of cryopreservation is that it help us in preserving valuable patient sample for future research basically here we need to do sample preparation you should know the freezing techniques and storage technique So basic understanding of cryopreservation technique sample tracking are required and adding to the list the next important technique is in vivo imaging which helps in visualize tumor growth and progression in the living organism it can also helps in monitoring the cancer development and treatment response so the steps involved here are usually imaging setup data acquisition and analysis and you should know skills like imaging technology operation and data interpretation and finally the metabolomic so profiling the metabolite in the biological cancer samples this helps in identifying the metabolic changing associated with the cancer cells and the general steps involved in such technologies are sample preparation mass spectrometry analysis and data analysis the skill which are required are metabolomic techniques mass spectrometry and bioinformatic based data analysis and interpretation for those who are interested in pursuing career or training in cancer research our organization offer online and on site training program covering most of these techniques and experimentation and for joining such training and research project you can contact me if you have liked the session don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do comment for more information and opportunities to contribute to the cancer research
Thank you.